log cabin members of the Purdue family owned and probably lived in and most likely built too in the early and mid 1800s in Ohio. It's approximately 16 by roughly 22 and it's roughly the same size as the log cabin that they were they were raised in in Pennsylvania except that it also has an upper story and their log cabin in Pennsylvania wasn't that big it's in the original location Mary Haymaker Park who was John Perdue's niece and her husband Silas Park owned the place. There were three log cabins on it and all three of the log cabins still exist. This is the place where the fireplace was and they dug and found cinders under the fireplace so they know somebody's living here. Mary Haymaker Park, John Perdue's niece and her husband lived, owned this place and probably lived in here. Next door in that direction lived uh, John Perdue's sister. And John Perdue had lived close to here too, about a mile away. This is what the inside of the log cabin looks like. This is a two-story. And it's thought that the second story of log cabins like this were used for sleeping and the first floor was used for living. So this is actually twice as big as the one that all ten, or ten children, two adults lived in, in Pennsylvania. These logs are squared off. It's unknown, it's unknown what kind of wood they are. But they're very thick. Maybe chestnut or something like that. This is a very tiny place for 12 people to live in.